time on the uh, the sidelines after your last fight with injury to come back here and win the fight within a minute and 10 seconds it's got to feel good right yeah 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 no no much i can say it's uh, a bit bittersweet at the minute a bit sweet. you hit him with a big stinging right hand early on which is uh, what led for him to shoot him for that takedown do you think you hurt him with that shot early on and uh, and, and did you know once you kind of started landing that ground and pound that it was kind of the beginning of the end for him yeah, yeah, I knew that I'd hurt him. I could see it in his eyes. Um, I was very conclusive. And in every shot I was landed on the floor, I, I could feel my, my uh, knuckles piercing through my glove, you know? So I, I, I knew that I've got heavy ground upon, you know, and I knew he was feeling every shot. Now you told the, goal, told the guys at uh, Combat Sports UK in an interview before this fight that you've got a list of people that you'd happily punch in the face for free. Have you got anyone in mind for your next fight and when can we expect to see you back in there and any names that you want? I'm sure they, uh, they know who they are. They've uh, ducked a couple of fights from me before. Hey, look, I'm now three and two professional. I understand it's, it's not the, the most profitable win beating myself having two losses, but I understand the violence I possess. Um, and I don't think they want to get punched by me. And this is why they're taking easier fights. They can fight against people with pretty records and they, they don't want to feel what a convention has in their fucking hands. 
Uh, can we expect to see you back here in, uh, and obviously we've got a card in December, GTFB. Do you think you'll be ready for uh, December? Do you want to get back in there then, or do you want to kind of look a bit further into the new year? Yeah, so obviously my next focus, I've got two of my fighters that leave me. I'm a full-time coach, as I'm sure you're already aware. I've got my beautiful wife fighting in Aries um, for a title eliminator. And I've got one of my uh, professional heavyweights as well fighting in Poland. These guys are my priority for this time. Um, and I want a good fight, you know, I want somebody... Look, it, is, it takes a lot out of me stepping in here. It takes time away from my loved ones. It takes, you know, time away from me eating, which we all know I fucking love. And to make those sacrifices um, for, look, Milan, fair play to him. Balls, huge balls, huge balls. You can see them coming out of his shorts, massive balls. Fair play to the fuck for fighting me. But look, I want somebody, I want somebody bigger, I want somebody better. Uh, they need to inspire me to get into this cage. They need to inspire me to not eat fucking burgers. You know what I mean? And like I said, there's a list of people. I don't want to go out in them, but they're a bunch of bitches. Let's be real. You're bitches. You know who you are. You're fucking bitches. Yeah, accept the fight. You get... Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you get to witness a vicious finish from Mr. James Dixon. So let's once again give it up for your winner, James Lionheart Dixon. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that does conclude this evening's event, Golden Ticket Fight Promotion number 20. Number 21 will be here very soon. Please follow Golden Ticket Fight Promotion across all social media for updates on upcoming shows. I've been your MC. Good night.